Good screaming, my ghouls. It is I, your queen of scream, reanimate her. And today I have a update on the awesome ghost hunting game, Ghost Exorcism Inc. Now, you know, I make videos on dev blogs talking about the game, the updates that are happening. And well, since August is now here and upon us, we will be getting an update sometime this month. And I'm super, super excited. Uh, the dev over at uh, Ghost Exorcism Inc. dropped a new dev blog on July 27th. And I'm super excited to talk to you guys about it. Not only are we going to have a new section for the tutorial. Yeah, we're going to have some new equipment and some new attacks. So let's dive into it. I'm going to read directly from the dev blog as well. I will put all the information down below in the link so you can check it out yourself. Or if you're in my discord, just go to the Ghost Exorcism Inc. channel and you'll be able to read the dev blog and everything that we do inside there as well. Oh, wait. if it's your first time here, yes, welcome, welcome. If you like all things horror games, uh, discussions and live talk shows, then this is the place to be. We love horror and everything about it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a like as well if you enjoyed this video. Now, uh, let's dive in. Uh, as you can see right here, we're going to have a new tutorial section. So we've already heard about the overhaul and things that are going on. Um, they're going to give us a little bit more about the new update, the new overhaul of what they've been doing. So uh, we will have a new tutorial area. This is a map that's specifically designed to give you a tutorial to understand how the game is played what your tools are like, uh, the dangers, the possibilities that you can do inside the entities. So it's going to give you a well-rounded tutorial. If you've never played GEI before, it'll give you a great tutorial where you can go in, you can use all the tools, you can have an entity come at you. It's going to be really cool. Um, now, uh, do you need to play the tutorial? No, but if you've never played it before, I would highly recommend it to kind of give yourself the idea of what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I also help anybody and everybody in Ghost Exorcism Inc. So if you are new to the game or you just haven't played it since the tw since 2021, please let me know. I would be so down to help you play some GEI. Um, it's a Steam game. Uh, if you ever want to see me play it, I play it here on my YouTube channel and as well on twitch.tv forward slash reanimator. Uh, yes, and I'm drinking my coffee. Um, this is uh, coffee chat of horrors awake the dead. It's delicious. Mm. And if you like a medium roast, this will be for you. Uh, now we're going to talk about entity attacks in the game. Currently, uh, when the entity goes to attack you, your screen gets this weird wave to it. And then the entity just snatches you. So you have an X amount of time. The minute you see your, your screen get wavy, you have X amount of time to escape that wave before the entity comes and kills you. Now what they're going to do in this upcoming update is before the entity, um, comes and does all that, you get the indication, uh, in the coming beta, however, an entity will chase you until it catches you. Yeah, be a little more challenging, but I'm up for it. I am up for the task. Uh, so you'll be running and the entity will run after you until it actually attacks you and gets you. Now, uh, once it catches you, you can sustain an injury or worse. Yeah, or worse. The little son of a can kill you. Now, yes, injury. Currently in the game, when the entity grabs you, you're dead. Oh, hi, there's Fusa. You faint. And while you can't come back to life, you're a ghost. You can sort of kind of help out your teammates, but you really can't do much. So they changed that recently uh, in this upcoming beta, the update, where you will sustain an injury instead of, well, you can sustain an injury or worse. So you have the chance of actually bringing yourself back. Now, exorcists who go to the other side will still have the ability to um, decide whether or not they want to help their teammates. Now, we're not sure how far in depth if they've changed how much we can help or is it still just the same, you know, basic help. Um, we'll see here soon. 
Uh, they also tried to make the entity attack a little less uh, punishing by changing the way we think. Uh, we therefore present a new feature called disorientation. Once the entity grabs you, it can cause damage to your psyche and potentially transport you to another location of its choosing. You will be in shock and will not be able to run or carry any item in your off hand. Oh no, things just got real. Ah uh, yeah, and as you can see here, right above Foose's head, and then her butt, um, what it would look like if when you are injured uh, in the new update. Uh, <laughs> I love their little saying here, you thought you could escape me, exorcist. That's not going to happen. And uh, they got this guy running, as you can see here. Now, one may ask, how am I going to treat my condition? How am I gonna be able to run again if I'm already injured? And well, there are two different ways you can do that. One, you can return to the vehicle and while in the safety of the vehicle, you, you'll feel better after a few seconds. So you'll recoup after a few seconds. However, you can also opt in for one of the new equipment in this update It's called the refreshing drink. It will heal your wounds, allow you to run again and carry an item in each hand. HQ strongly suggests that wary or unfamiliar exorcists should carry one at all times. And I would if you were new to the game and you're just getting your stuff going and I would definitely carry one or have one of your teammates carry one for sure. Uh, now, uh, due to the recent study conducted at the Ghost Exorcism Inc offices, uh, they learned that a simple refreshing drink could cure stress and mental shock caused by entity attacks. You can see here, this is what the new drinks will look like. Don't they look tasty? That raspberry lemon, or is it raspberry demon flavor? Uh, looks like it would taste really good. <laughs> now some ending notes from the team themselves, and this is them saying it. Uh, we are thinking about everything regarding this overhaul update. Moreover, we strongly questioned an aspect, the crucifix and the statue of Mary. We noticed for quite some time that their use was far too beneficial and we therefore made the decision to modify their use. Uh-oh. Even Fusa meowed right there. Previously in the current game, these tools acted as a barrier shield that stopped certain types of entities. After the update arrives, these tools will no longer stop entities in their track. I agree, Foo. I don't know if you heard that meow. Oh, my Lord. So, uh, it's not going to stop the entities. Uh, it will considerably slow them down instead. Slowing down could be beneficial. I will say the Marys and the Crucifixes, they were quite OP. Mm -hmm. But hey, I am still waiting for the Holy Soaker. The Holy Soaker, Roo. We need a Holy Soaker. Uh, I find throwing those jars of holy water a pain in the butt. Anyways, uh, the slowing strength of these tools will be substantial and strong. We'll be updating the door barrier feature to be more consistent and strong. Instead of being forced to stand at the door holding it, because that's what you normally do, Exorcist will now be able to close the door until it clicks closed, then continuing running for their lives. You know, you're not safe anywhere. Um, yeah, not safe anywhere. And I want to know, you play Ghost Exorcism Inc. What are you thinking on this update? What do you think about this? Are you excited for the new update as much as I am? Are you looking forward to the changes? Will this make it more challenging for those of you who find it a little too easy on easy? Yeah, I don't know too many people who play it on extreme. Um, so I play it on extreme. It's a ton of fun on extreme. I like get super hot on extreme and it's a lot. It, it's just fun all together. I, it is possible to survive it. So I would love to know in the comments down below, what do you think of the game? What do you think of the overhaul? Is there anything that the ghost exorcism team could add besides the holy soaker? The holy soaker I have been asking for since the beginning. Um, there will be some more announcements coming soon. 
Uh, I will, of course, announce when the update happens, and that's where we're going to update our Steam game. Uh, if you are interested in learning out how to be participating in the beta update, super easy. I have instructions down below in the comments and in my Discord in the pin section of the Ghost Exorcism Inc. Everybody is welcome to join the Discord, especially if you are ghost hunters. And yes, if we are exorcists, because... We need to exercise some nasty ghosts. Now, Fusa is barreling her way in, guys, so I'm going to have to end the video. But please let me know, what do you think of the game? Will this make you buy the game with all these new updates and overhaul coming? I personally think this is going to be a great time. I do. And I'm super excited, super stoked for this update. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Thank you to each and every one of you who support me, whether it's by views and sharing or by uh, investing in my content over on Patreon or my YouTube membership program. If anybody is interested in either of those, if you're interested in supporting this content uh, financially, you can do so over at Patreon. I've got a ton of uh, perks over there as well as on YouTube membership. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Creep it real and I will slash this all later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. And I need to do a huge shout out to my Patreon peeps. Thank you so much for investing in me and my content. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for giving me your hard earned money. I greatly appreciate you. And I could not do this without your contribution to this channel, to this content that I create. So thank you very, very much. Harjar. Candy Thiessen, Deadwalk, Devil Dog, Zombie Guts, Erratic Agent, Fielder's Choice, Haley Dawn, Bearcat Kitten, It's Mr. Scott, Mr. Watson, Mischief Maker, Ms. Delicious, Night Jammy, Petro Bull, Macabre Tavern, Serial Killer, Byron, Celtic Wolf, Dahi, Eve Brutal, Monkey Van Meowerton, Oh, gee, Chris Redfield, Gamer Sass, The Goblin King Josh, Rye, The Lament Butterfly, and Go Klepto. You guys have no idea how grateful I am for your contribution. Thank you so very much for everything that you guys do. I love your guts. Want more of your Scream Queen? Of course you do. Who doesn't? Please make sure to check out my other horror-related content down below. And if you want to become part of the undead and hang out with me outside in my cemetery, make sure to become a Patreon member. Check it out right there. Or one of the ghouls here on YouTube by clicking on the join button down below. And if you are craving more of the dark macabre content that I create, make sure to check out my Instagram. Uh-huh. And if you want to rock out with your... Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. But if you want to rock out in some awesome horror gear, make sure to check out my merch store right there. Until next time, my creepies. I will slash you later. Sleep it real. Bye-bye.